Okay. Uh, the other day I got this in the post. Uh, this is a magazine from Japan. I think it's called Adult Science or something like that. Uh, this was a special edition that came with a box attached. Now, the whole magazine's in Japanese, and it's kind of useless. It looks kind of interesting, but I don't read a word of Japanese, and that's not why I got it. I got it for the synth that came in the box. Now, this is the thing that came with it. You have to assemble it yourself. And it's something like a cross between an MS-20 and a stylophone. And I'll give you a quick demonstration of what it sounds like. Let's just hook up some power. It sounds pretty awful. You've got LFO. Pitch envelope. And a resonance switch. As you can hear, it's it's pretty awful. It's basically, you know, it's an analog synthesizer, but it's in its current state, it's a bit of a toy. So what I've done, I've modified this. Um, there's a couple of switches on the side here. Uh, this one disables the pitch envelope. Um, this one disables the LFO, and also in the up position, when it's in the up position, I've got some outputs and inputs here. I've got two outputs for both shapes of the LFO, so you can connect that to a modular. Um, and I've got an input, so I can run an LFO from a modular into it, as long as the switch is in the up position. Um, I also added uh, a resonance feedback knob, and this basically makes the resonance really scream. Incidentally, this power supply, I'll quickly tell you, is um, this is basically a dual adjustable power supply. You run this from an AC adapter, um, you've got a couple of regulators in there, some LEDs just to show how, you know, the brighter they are, the more output it's pulling out, and a couple of trim pots, um, a little bit of extra circuit inside. Um, <clears throat> this basically allows me to adjust the power supply. So, I mean, normally it would run on batteries. I'll just actually show you the back of this before we start. Uh, you can see I've done lots of modifications to this, and we're going to... Um, I'll put these up on the blog, so if you look at this on YouTube, the information on how to modify it will be on www.dinsync.info. Okay, let's hook this up, um, put the power on, and I've got a couple of CV lines here coming from Silent Way. Like I say, the adjustable power supply is really good for, you know, tuning in so you can get as many, you know, the, the right sort of amount of uh, pitch octaves. I think I can get three and a half octaves, which is more than enough, really. So I'll plug in the CV line and I'll switch it on and you should hear, um, it's like an acid line. You can hear it's pretty basic sort of mono synth. So I'll put the pitch envelope on. And you've got the LFO as well. Square wave and triangle. So let's take that CV line out. Let's put a different one in. It's a different pattern on this one. And I'll show you some of the modifications. Uh, let's get that switched on.
goes from very subtle, sort of acidic, to complete mayhem. And you get the idea. Now this thing, this cost $40 on eBay, plus the postage. And, you know, for a little bit of work, just adding a few switches, you know, wiring up some stuff. Oh, the knob fell off. It's, you know, it's pretty cheap construction, but it's a lot of fun. And, you know, I'll be using this in tracks just, you know, for an extra analog sound. And it's pretty crazy. You know, it's, like I say, $40 if you don't like it you're getting and you wire up some lfos you got you know cheap lfo but you know it, it's quite mad um yeah so I'll, I'll put up the information on how to do the mods now, there's a lot of information on the net already about the mods and i tried a, quite a few of them and a lot of them didn't work but um the ones i post up do work and i'll basically you know just give you a couple of photographs because um when I put this pot in, there's some capacitor. There's a capacitor sitting underneath this, and a power jack which you need to, you know, move out of the way. But I'll put a photograph of that up, and you get the idea of how that's going to work. So yeah, that's it for this week, or today, or maybe there'll be something tomorrow. I don't know if I get a chance. I got a few things to do, so probably not. Won't be on again till next weekend. But um, yeah, that's it. That's the Gacken. Go get yourself one on eBay, and uh, get hacking. Hack your hacking your Gacken. <laughs>